hey girl hey welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i made this really easy dump and go spicy barbecue chicken in the crock pot <laughs> stay tuned so here are the seasonings that i use just to season up my chicken i normally just mix them all together in one container and coat the chicken with this just all at once so this is what it looks like all mixed together the next step is the easiest step after you have washed and dried your chicken just add the seasoning and the Worcestershire sauce that is like the most mispronounced word ever like I don't even know how to pronounce it <laughs> but yeah add that to your chicken as a marinade and you could also just stick it in the refrigerator cover it stick it in the refrigerator for about an hour or two just to marinate now here is the barbecue sauce that we're gonna make I'm just adding some craft honey barbecue sauce that is um, a really good flavor to me when your barbecue sauce your barbecue sauce has some honey in it and um, the kicker is for me to add this chili garlic sauce right here this is like going to give it the kick that you need if you like spicy foods now if you're making this for children i don't recommend adding this into the sauce but if you know you like spicy things definitely add some it's going to give you all the kick that you need then i'm going to add in some liquid smoke A little bit of minced garlic and some slap your mama seasoning I'm telling you for this recipe we are going for the heat <laughs> Then we're gonna add some brown sugar just to give it a little hint of sweetness. And then we're just gonna mix it all together. And now it's time for the dumping. So now I'm just adding my marinated chicken to my crock pot. As you can see, I am using my Instant Pot multi cooker. I'm gonna use the crock pot function. Um, I do have a crock pot bag on here at this point, but midway through cooking, I ended up removing it just because um, I could not get it to stop bubbling and it kept um, flipping up from the corner. So I just got tired of dealing with it and I took it off. But I normally do try to use a crock pot bag, but they are not made to fit this particular multi cooker. So now I'm just gonna add half of the barbecue mixture that I made and I'm going to let it cook on high for three hours or you could do low for five hours and halfway through cooking I stopped and added the remainder um, portion of the barbecue sauce right here And here is our finished product. I just paired this with some sauteed broccoli and some shells and cheese. Like I said, if you're making this for kids, I definitely do not recommend the chili garlic sauce, but this particular night, it was just for myself and my husband. So we had some spicy chicken. Now you don't have to use drumsticks. You can use chicken thighs. Um, you can even use chicken breast, but definitely your cook time is gonna be affected by that. So make sure that you know your crock pot and you know how long it takes to cook certain parts of your chicken. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you later. Bye.